Hello and welcome back. This is part two in my series of videos on WD Red hard drives. We want to look at conventional magnetic recording supported older generation WD Red drives and compare them against a newer generation of drives that use Drive Manage Shingle Magnetic Recording or DMSMR. We've already looked at RAID building and today we're going to look at RAID rebuilding. <laughs> Hello and welcome back and today we're continuing our look at the WD Red 40B range. We're looking at the WD40 EFRX and comparing it with the WD40 EFAX, the newer generation WD40B. Now in part one we did a RAID 5 build on a Synology 4-bay, a QNAP 4-bay using the old generation and exactly the same RAID 5 build on the newer generation of WD Red drives. And if you have a look at our performance here, you can see that the newer drives did build our new RAID noticeably quicker, noticeably um, around 40% and 24% respectively on the new drives versus the old drives. And what we're gonna to do today is we're going now to test RAID rebuilding. We're going to pull a drive from each of these NASes and then we're going to double check that the RAID has now noticed that there is a problem missing a drive and then we're going to introduce a brand new blank drive into each unit with each of these drives being the same format as the others so we're not going to reintroduce the old drive we pulled we don't want re-silvering we want a brand new RAID rebuild with one of these drives being lost so without bending your ear any further why don't we get started now it's worth mentioning i am remote accessing here using team viewer the reason being that due to obviously covid and self-isolation it makes it very hard to make an arrangement on this video but i am coordinating with a colleague of mine at another office who is conducting the drive pull so i apologize if there's any slight delays i might have to cut them out but without further ado let's start pulling those drives as you can see here on screen they're all showing degraded we can still access the storage pool and if we had a volume on these devices we would be able to see that the read and write is possible although the read and write speed will be significantly reduced in a degraded raid 5 while it still waits for you to introduce a brand new drive into the raid now what we need to do is insert a brand new drive into all of these NAS devices and then that repair option will be made available to us. QNAP do things a little bit differently, but the overall um, system will be exactly the same. So what we're going to do now is introduce those new drives into both Synology and QNAP NASes of both the RX and AXs and then we're going to take note at the beginning of the RAID rebuild and it's going to take about a day or so at most for that RAID rebuild to be completed but for now let's install the new drives and repair these RAIDs. So right now my colleague has received my message and should be starting to install the brand new drives into these NASes. Probably, uh, again, I'm sure you can see it on screen already, you will see that these, these systems have got the new drives installed and one by one they should all start appearing. So just to make the process a little bit quicker, I'm going to close the storage manager of each of these NASes and then we should see... Uh, the drive be reintroduced and we have to manually select a repair option so let's reopen the storage manager on that first Synology and let's see if that new drive has been identified yet and we can see that the new drive has not been registered inside this device we're still waiting on the introduction of that drive I do apologize for the delay this is lots of fun that you have with remote work Right, so let's make our way into the first one, the Synology there. And I understand the first, the new drive has been reinitialized. There we see our green light there. And now we can head our way into that storage pool where our degraded RAID volume is taking place and the repair option is now available. So do remember that while the RAID rebuild does take place, the log will register the start and end of the RAID rebuild time. So we'll be able to see at the end how long this takes. But there is the EFRX drive that we've introduced along with the other EFRXs. We're going to click next and it's going to now rebuild that RAID for us. And again, we'll get the log open for us there in the background. And now we'll move over to the QNAP. And this QNAP here will make our way into the storage and snap snapshot manager. And from here we can see the dri a new drive has been introduced into the array, into bay one. So from here we can make our way into the storage snapshot area. We can make our way into 
the raid rebuild we can go to it and we can see that that new raid rebuilding is now taking place we can speed it up but we're not going to do that we want to make sure that this is all done in organic similar conditions so we're going to leave that there we're going to leave it to rebuild its raid there in the background and if we make our way into the raid group we should be able to see the raid build there and it will tell us that it is rebuilding there in the background and once again if we open up the log there and trying to remember how to open the log we'll be able to see that that raid rebuild is happening now in the background we'll make our way into the next Synology and with any luck that new drive has been introduced into the Synology forest as well there's a nice green light and from there again into the storage pool into there commit repair select our drive and as you can see now we are using those the r uh, sorry the ax drive in our new build there and it's now going to commit the raid rebuild on that synology get the log open there and the final qnap there and again the raid rebuild is automatically kicking in there in the background as soon as we've connected it and now it's going to start rebuilding our raid so as you can see straight away there is already a very similar figure being presented to us as a raid rebuild figure from the old drive to the new series of drives but things will change over time and for now what we're going to do now is fast forward to the completion of these raid rebuilds happening in the background as you can see the repair has been logged and it will continue to do so for a number of hours so let's return to this raid system later on and see the completion of these raid rebuilds to see how these drives do compare on our sheet let's fast forward right so we come back here the following day to find out how our raid rebuilds have taken place you can probably hear a rack mount behind me I've been here for about an hour and i've got uh, another rack mount nas uh, video happening behind me so i apologize if there's a bit of a hum during the course of this video but let's proceed all four of our raid 5 rebuilds on the synology and qnap nases using the older and newer gen wd reds have completed so let's find out what we've got so on the 918, the first 918, this is using the older generation RX drives. We can see the RAID 5 is completed there. I've zoomed in the screen a little bit. And you can see in the log here, we can scroll down to when we started the operation. And remember, there is a slight one hour time problem that we've got during the setup of these NASs that I should have remedied. But remember, we are comparing Synology versus Synology and the QNAP versus the QNAP. Consequently, that hour difference doesn't make any difference at all. So if we look at this, we can see at the start of it at 40 minutes past one, it was concluded finally in the evening at 10.37 and it's the older generation of WD Red drives and um, we can see there and we'll go through the actual times later on I've already got them mapped out down here on a notepad but if we look at the QNAP we can see the QNAP as well the RAID 5 is complete it's all finished it's all healthy there you go the RAID 1 uh, rebuild is completed and if we go into the system logs here we can see right now and I know there's a lot of logs there but the only ones we care about are the top two there is the raid rebuild beginning there when we introduced that new drive and it was completed yesterday at 10:41. if we make our way onto the synology that has the newer generation the ax series wd red drives we can see that down here and again the raid has been completed there's the raid completed right there and in the log center we can see that uh, the beginning of the raid rebuild began here at 40 minutes past one and concluded at 11.13. So straight away, there is a difference there. Uh, for around about half an hour, we will look at the results at the end, but the newer generation drives did seemingly take a fraction longer. Now, again, there could be lots of factors here, and this is an isolated example of a RAID 5 rebuild, and this has been a perfect RAID 5 rebuild at that, with us being able to introduce a brand new drive quickly, and we've initiated the RAID failure ourselves, but still, nevertheless, we should take note of that time difference. If we make our way onto the QNAP, we can see that the RAID has completed its rebuild. There we go, in the notes there, RAID re rebuild completed. And if we look at the system logs, move it over and again i'm using team viewer here to access a bunch of nazis remotely thanks to self-isolation in covid thank you very much we have a look here we can see the raid rebuild was initiated at 239 by the system clock and completed at 1044 so again comparing those two qnaps they were near enough identical, barely any time between them, in fact. And do bear in mind, there was a minute or two's difference between the start 
of that re raid reel build as well. So these must come within a minute or two of one another. So let's take a look at those results. At the top here are the results from our raid build test in part one, where we talked about the time it took these individual Nazis to build the raid, with the newer generation drives being a great deal faster. But if we look at the raid rebuild, we can see that the older generation drive, in the case of the Synology at least, was quicker on its raid rebuild at 8 hours 58 minutes and 37 seconds compared against 9 hours 33 minutes and 4 seconds. How train spotter did I sound there? Comparatively, the QNAP was near enough identical with around 2 minutes and a second between them at 8 hours 2 and 8 hours 4 respectively. Now, on the QNAP, we did set the RAID real build speed to default, so there was no priority given to it, but the Synology would typically prioritize automatically a RAID rebuild with regards to its system resources. You can change that manually, but by default, the Synology will rebuild um, with a higher priority by default. Now, we again, this is an isolated example comparing the older generation WD Red and the newer generation WD Red, and as mentioned, in this series of videos, when they conclude, we will talk a lot more about drive managed shingled magnetic recording on drives because the newer generation drive is indeed the drive that apparently features it. And based on this example we're looking at now, it has taken a fraction longer to rebuild. But again, this is a one off case example, and there are so many factors that you have to bear in mind that a single test cannot be conclusive evidence of anything with regards to speed. But what I will say is right now in this testing environment, the older generation drives did rebuild faster. Although, whether you think that is offset by performance improvements, on the newer generation drives is a matter for you to decide but i'm going to conclude part two here i'm going to move now on to the third video uh, for recording where we're going to be doing intensive read write environments of sustained read write on all four of these nazis we're going to be doing operations where we have consistent checks and consistent operations happening on these drives over a period of time to see how both set um behave but otherwise thank you so much for watching i hope you're finding these videos helpful i'll try and keep this series going for as long as i can do click like if you've enjoyed it click subscribe if you want to learn more and be stayed abreast of this and of course if you are looking for a nas solution go to the guys at span.com nas experts 25 years in the biz and more they know what they're doing otherwise thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time